the Ministry of Health and Wellness is currently investigating two dengue-related deaths. Both individuals were seen and managed at the Owen King European Union Hospital, where they presented with a clinical picture consistent of dengue fever. All samples were tested locally for dengue virus and have been sent to the Caribbean Public Health Agency for confirmation. The Ministry of Health and Wellness awaits these confirmatory results. As of October 3, 2020, a total of 540 confirmed cases have been recorded. The mean age of cases is 19 years, with an age range from 3 weeks to 84 years. The age group 5 to 14 years accounts for approximately 38% of all cases. 49% of confirmed cases occurred during the month of August, with both serotypes 2 and 3 continuing to be in circulation. Hospitalization rate among cases is 25%, 65% of whom were in the age group under 14 years. Although all health regions have reported cases of dengue fever, the highest prevalence continues to be reported in the northern part of the island, with Castries, Grosely, and Babono accounting for 34%, 17%, and 8% of cases respectively. In the south, Viewfort accounts for 14% of cases, followed by Denry with 10% and Miku with 6%. Among the northern settlements, Castries, Bexo, and Babono have confirmed the most cases, while in the south, Denry Village and Viewfort Town confirmed the most cases. The public is reminded that both dengue serotypes 2 and 3 are in circulation. The likelihood of persons presenting with severe form of dengue is therefore increased. In its mild form, dengue fever may present with fever, headache, pain behind the eyes, muscle and joint pains, and a red itchy rash. There are several warning signs that persons need to be aware of. These include intense and continuous abdominal pain, persistent vomiting, which means three or more episodes in one hour or four episodes in six hours, bleeding from the gums or nose, bleeding in the urine or in the vomit or dark colored stool, restlessness or drowsiness, as well as enlarged liver. Persons presenting with these warning signs should immediately seek medical attention. Approximately 5% of persons progress to a severe form of dengue infection. There is no specific treatment for dengue fever and management is supportive based on presenting signs and symptoms. Dengue fever requires a vector to maintain the spread of the disease. The control of the mosquito population is therefore dependent on the elimination of breeding sites. The public is asked to assist in the control of dengue fever by eliminating breeding sites in and around their homes. This can be done by discarding of all open containers with stagnant water in and around your home on a regular basis. Using insect repellent, which may be applied directly to the skin, clothing or mosquito nets. Wearing long sleeve shirts and long pants, especially during the highest hours of mosquito activity. The Ministry of Health and Wellness will continue to provide the public with updates on the dengue situation in St. Lucia.